Welcome to the vignette on retrieving additional information. Why would you want to retrieve additional information at all? The first and most common reason is that you do not have all information you need to calculate effect sizes. This can be because you are missing correlations, but note that we have devised a few ways around this problem because it is true for most within persistent design papers. A second reason can be that you are missing information to compute effect sizes from raw data, that is means and standard deviations. Ideally, you want to use the same method for calculating effect sizes to avoid confounds, that is either raw means or a specific test statistic, whatever is most common in your literature. So if possible, contact those authors who do not provide the most common outcome measure. Finally, and most urgent but fortunately less common, you cannot compute effect sizes at all because neither the raw data nor the test statistic for the comparison of interest are reported. Do not use parts of an interaction term here. You might also want to have more information about the experiment because you are very interested in a certain moderator. Age is one possibility and so are stimuli or procedure details. The next reason is that you are not sure whether the paper at hand should be part of your dataset. Is it reporting on the same inference as an entry you already have? Was the main question close enough to the one you are trying to answer? Sometimes it helps to discuss this issue with an expert, and who is more of an expert than the author. Finally, you might have tried and tried and cannot get the full paper anywhere. Then too, you, ich, wie, so. Finally, you might have tried and tried and cannot get the full paper anywhere. Then too, you should contact the author. Of course, you don't want to write to the same person twice, and you also don't want your collaborator to contact someone you have already emailed. It is thus important to again keep track of everything. This is what the author contact tab that you could have in your data management spreadsheet is for. Simply enter who you've gotten in touch with and why. An important note on contacting authors before you go ahead and write emails. Remember that you are asking them for a favor and that should be very polite. Fingers crossed for speedy responses.